Welcome to Kids in the Kitchen with Miss Kelly, brought to you by the Lone Star College Tomball Community Library. Today we will be making 15s. 15s are a popular no-bake dessert from Northern Ireland. When I was younger, I lived in Northern Ireland for a while, which is where I first tried 15s and learned how to make them. Since St. Patrick's Day was this week, I wanted to share one of my favorite Irish recipes and talk a bit about Ireland. The island of Ireland is a beautiful place that contains two countries, Ireland and Northern Ireland. These countries are made up of big cities and small towns. They are home to natural wonders, forests to explore, mountains to climb, and a lot of people. St. Patrick's Day is celebrated in both countries. St. Patrick's Day is a religious holiday and a day to celebrate Irish cultural heritage. Fifteens are a fun and easy recipe for the whole family to make together and enjoy. However, I will warn you that it can be an extremely sticky treat to make, so plan to wash hands often. You will need 15 digestive biscuits, which are available at HEB or World Market, 15 marshmallows cut in half, 15 glacé cherries cut in half, about two-thirds cup of condensed milk, and a traditional but optional ingredient is shredded coconut. Feel free to pause and take a screenshot if you want to save this recipe for later. First, you will break up the digestives and crush them. If you have a food processor, you can use that, or you can do what I did and just put them in a bowl and crush them manually. Keep crushing them until they're essentially just small crumbs. Next, you will cut the marshmallows and cherries in half. This is where you'll need an adult's help. Then, you will slowly add and stir in cherries and marshmallows until they're well mixed. Slowly add and stir in the condensed milk until the ingredients are combined and sticky. If you add too much condensed milk, just crush a few more biscuits and stir them in. If you're using shredded coconut, stir it in as you're adding your condensed milk. Once all of the ingredients are combined and you are happy with your mixture, Roll your dough into a sausage shape using parchment paper. If you're using coconut, spread some over the top and sides and keep adding until the mixture is covered. Once you're happy with the shape, wrap the parchment paper around it and then let it chill in the refrigerator for several hours. When it feels solid in the refrigerator, cut it and serve it carefully. I personally enjoy them with a cup of tea or coffee, just like I would have done back in Northern Ireland. Thank you for joining me for this episode of Kids in the Kitchen.